from BergmanRiders.com. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a safe and Happy New Year. Hello everyone. This is the Smyrna Cowboy Christmas Special. I guess we'll I guess we'll put it like that. Let's go on to the mailbag. And we'll start with Sam. Sam writes, I'm considering purchasing an 05 650 with 3,800 miles on it. The owner indicates it's pristine. I have not seen it yet. What should I look for? Should I be needing new tires if, if they're original? Thanks for any help that you can offer me. Well, Sam, I bought Alf in 2004, and it was used. It had 1,300 miles on it, and it was in pristine condition also, but I noticed that uh, it had been laid down a couple of times, or dropped, or just dropped, I guess you could say. And uh, just, there was some scratches on the fairing. I didn't see that. Of course, I didn't know what I was looking for. But uh, let me give you a few tips from the uh, from what I've learned over the past years I've been riding. What to look for. I wrote these down on notes so I wouldn't forget or lose track. Uh, ask the owner about maintenance records. It should have the first 600 miles on there, and if it's got 3,800 miles, it should have another 3,000 mile oil change on it. And what I should have done, which I didn't do, but what I should have done is make a T-clock list. That's what you learned in the MSF class. You can get this from the MSF library, and I believe the website is msf.usa.org. And click on that, and then look at the uh, tabs up there, click on library, and you can print out your own T-clock list. And take that with you when you uh, go look at the bike and uh, just check off the things and you know what to look for there on that. So that would be a good a good indicator of that also. You know, just walk around the clipboard, see if there's any scratches on the fairings, uh, which I didn't do. I could have gotten probably a little bit, a little bit off on it. Uh, as far as tires go, uh, the bike has 3,800 miles on her. Uh, it's probably the OE tires, the same OE tires. Now, uh, I can't say for everyone, but what my, uh, in my situation, I'm going to have to get new tires in spring now. I bought mine with uh, 1,345 miles on it, 1,345 miles on it. And now I'm getting ready to click over 11, and I'm showing some uh, back wear on the rear tire. I'm going to have to get a rear tire in the spring, so I'm just going to go ahead and get both of them. And depending on the driver who had a bike before, uh, they usually last anywhere from nine to twelve or thirteen thousand. Uh, Ron N. Ron writes, "I'm looking for grips for my Bergman AN 650. I don't want to run. I don't want run-of-the-mill rubber grips. I'm also looking for a cruise control that works with that. Thank you." Well, I got Karakin grips on Alf because when I first got the bike, uh, my hands are so big and thick, I guess you could say. Uh, the smaller circumference grips that came on the stock 650, they were just too small, too, too small in diameter. So I really started getting my hands numb and what really helped a lot with these Karakin grips. They're, they're big and they look good on the bike. Uh, some people have put grip puppies on them, uh, but I, I can just recommend the uh, Karakin grips on there. Now as far as the throttle lock goes, um, you can get a breakaway uh, throttle lock. They're, they're on the expensive side. The last time I checked they were $199, but they're a precision piece of workmanship. A lot of people on all the bourbon forms have just praises for these uh, throttle locks. And a lot of people have put the Vista Cruise throttle locks on them. Uh, some had to modify the plastic, some did not. Uh, I haven't got that yet. That's one of my modifications I plan on doing in the spring. I plan on taking some uh, long road trips on Alf, and the thrust control will come in very, very handy. I'm not sure whether to get the uh, breakaway or the Vista Cruise. Breakaway is, is, is expensive, but we'll just have to see what the financial situation is gonna be in the uh, spring and summer, and I can make a determination of which one that I can afford to get. Well, Ron, I hope that, uh, hope that answers your question. And the next question writes, Alan C., High Smarter Cowboy from Down Under in Oz. Thank you, sir, for 
for riding a, an old coot on a scoot here in the States. Mate. <laughs> Western Australia, thank you for your blog. I currently have a 2006 Honda VT750 Cruiser, but I'm thinking of trading it in on a scooter, either a Yamaha or Bergman. They sound like good fun. Yes, they are. P.S. I'm an Alpha as well. Cheers. Yeah, see Alpha back there. Uh, yeah, I'm a big Alpha fan too. Uh, with the big scooter, maxi scooter like the Bergman or the Yamaha, uh, you really can't go wrong. Uh, when I first started looking at scooters back in 2006, I really didn't know that there were maxi scooters out there. Um, a long story short, my wife uh, read an article in the newspaper on a Sunday about scooters. And I'm thinking to myself, as big a stature as I am, yeah, I look like Papa Smurf on a moped. But then I started doing some research on it, and the uh, they had maxi scooters. And this is a 650cc, so this is just as big as a, uh, I don't want to say standard, but the most, uh, most common motorcycle. But... Uh, you won't go wrong with either a Bergman or a Yamaha, but when I was looking for them, the best bang for the buck is the Bergman, by far, in my opinion, my humble opinion. Of course, uh, I'm sort of slided toward the Bergman because, <laughs> well, I don't know. But it uh, has a lot of compartments and everything, and it has fit me like a glove. So that's what, that's what I chose, and uh, you won't regret it, I'm telling you, because you can do a lot more practical stuff on a... Uh, scooter on a big maxi scooter than can a motorcycle as far as transportation of uh, things, laptops, uh, groceries. I've got six, no, I've got seven bags of groceries underneath the seat and you can put the side bags on it, top boxes, and the uh, the list is endless on what you can do uh, on a scooter. So put the XM radio and the radar detector and uh, like I said, the, the list is just, it's just endless. So thank you very much. I appreciate that from Australia. Now I have a uh, letter from uh, Ken S. in Long Island, New York. Dave, I'm looking for a radio. How did you mount your satellite radio to the handlebar? And did you have to cut any plastics or modifications? Also, how did you mount the antenna? Thanks, Ken. Well, Ken, I covered this in another video. I mean, we're looking at the library and, uh, and see, but I'll just give you a short synopsis. Uh, I bought this bracket here. I don't know if you can see it from that far of an angle. This bracket here from MotorcycleSuperstore.com or XMSuperstore.com. I can't. I'm, it's on the other video. I don't really remember. I think it's XMSuperstore.com. Look under motorcycle accessories. And the radio that I did have, that I do have, is the oldest one. It's a SkyFi. That was the very first XM radio that's come out. And I found a uh, waterproof case for it. Uh, it's discontinued now so I got it right when they discontinued it which is a good thing and it you know you can't submerge it but it it blocks away the rain and and all the elements from the outside and as far as the antenna goes with that bracket this is a magnetic mount as you can see here and it just sticks on the metal plate of the bracket so Ken I hope that answers your question and like I say, let me just take the time to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching our videos. Uh, without you, this website could not could not be existing. So thank you very much for for watching. Thank you very much for visiting. If you know anyone that uh, owns a Bergman or owns any other motorcycle for that matter, if they want to come uh, visit our site, please do. If you want to join, it's free, no charge. I uh, can't beat that price anywhere. So uh, if you can tell some, some people, tell some friends that uh, are in the motorcycle community, just tell them to take a look at us. We'd be more than happy to have them come aboard. Okay, I think that's the end of this video. Thank you again for watching, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And the Smyrna Cowboy always says, adios, but on this one, he's going to say adios and Feliz Navidad. Goodbye, everyone.